Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 18 March 2021. It's Thursday night. It's 9 o'clock now in daylight time on the Eastern time zone. It must be time for a knife sale on the Apostle P channel. And it is! Coming to you this evening from my motel room in East Tennessee on the eve of my visit to Ottawa and Knives Ship Free tomorrow. We have a big, gigantic, mega knife sale for you this evening, and it's going to be a fun one. A little bit of housekeeping before we get started. I'm going to post on the screen in a moment for you the terms of the sale. If you are new to this weekly event, please take a look at those. Be familiar with and agreeable to them. I'm going to reprint them in the description underneath this video as well. So you can peruse them at your leisure. Also in that description above the terms of the sale you're going to see three links to prior videos on this channel. The first is to my primer for buyers video. That is a 38 minute long expanded explanation of the terms of the sale. How we do things and why we do them that way. <clears throat> the second link is to my FAQs for consigners video. If you're inter interested in using this weekly sales event to move along some of your collection, that video explains how it all works from the consigner's perspective. The third link is to my rates and services video for the Apostle Pete Knife Service, the original precision sharpening service for the online knife community. So underneath those three links, you will find the terms of the sale. Underneath that, you will find the list of tonight's inventory, complete with timestamps and pricing. The number to the left of the slash in the pricing column is your as shown price. Number to the right as sharpened and uh, worthy of note this week, there will be no next day sharpening because I'm not home at the bench. I'm in Tennessee. So uh, not to worry though, current sharpening backlog just over two weeks, two to three weeks we'll say. So not a very long wait if you do elect to have your knife sharpened this evening. I think that's about it. Oh, if you see the word SOLD, all caps, exclamation point, in lieu of pricing, that means the knife you're looking at has a new owner, bought, paid for, no need to send an email. Okay, I think that's about it. Let's get the terms up on the screen for you, and we'll be right back with the sale inventory. Here are the terms. All right, let's get to it, shall we? First up, we've got some leftovers from last week. We're going to kick it off with three offerings from Steel Sharp Knives by Frank Velez. There's Frank's card. The first knife is going to be called the Steel Sharp 2 and 3 quarter inch Bird and Trout. Blade steel is 15 and 20, just 1 16th thick flat ground, black canvas micarta handles with red G10 liners and 3 16 brass pins, and a black Kydex soft loop for attachment. And here you go. Here's the package. There's your Kydex. There's your loop. Inside comes the knife. Well oiled. <laughs> Gorgeous little utility blade on the Burton Trout, super comfy in hand. <clears throat> Blade length two and three quarters inches, that's back to the handle, so that includes the choil. Handle length three and seven eighths, very nicely done, very ergonomic. I mean, super, super comfy in the hand. Pinches well, 
nice skinny blade pretty good looking satin finish there Frank and that uh, it's not quite flat ground it's kind of convex then with a V bevel nice nice job it is brand new from the maker we ran this last week at $145 nobody bought it we dropped it to 125 on Saturday it's still here this week 110 110 brand new from the maker the steel sharp two and three quarter inch burden trout 15 bucks if you want my edge on it and I think uh, you tell me but I would probably convex it up to you mm-hmm Next up, another one from Steel Sharp. Steel Sharp Knives by Frank Velas. <clears throat> we have the Steel Sharp 2 and 5 8 Utility. Blade steel is going to be 5160 with a high saber grind carbon fiber handles, red G10 liners with 3 16 brass pins, and a black Kydex sheath with a soft loop attachment. And here's that package. <clears throat> Nice little thumb break, and it'll take some, well, frankly, it takes a lot of thumb. There is that beautiful blade. Nice drop point utility, some hand applied jimping. Stock thickness on this is an eighth of an inch. There are your carbon fiber scales, your red liners. Two and five eighths blade with a three and an eighth handle. It's kind of a pinky dangler, which I think on a knife like this works pretty well because the pinky kind of anchors the handle. And if you come forward, you can pinch it well. Very nice. Again, a pretty doggone good looking set and finish. This knife is brand new from the maker. We, we ran it last week at 145. It didn't sell. We dropped it to a buck and a quarter on Saturday. It's still here. So somebody gets a pretty nice carbon fiber handled fixed blade utility for 110 bucks 125 with my edge on it that is the steel sharp two and five eighths inch utility next up in our final offering from steel sharp knives by frank velez we have the steel sharp three and three eighths inch utility it's going to be bladed in A2 air hardening tool steel, 3 16th stock <clears throat> with a flat grind, blued blade, black canvas micarta handle, red G10 liners, 3 16th brass pins, black kydex sheath with a tack lock. And there's your package. There's your tack lock. There's your knife. Oh. Now, it says on the card 3 16th stock, and it is, but the spine is violated. So the actual thickness of the spine in the blade is only 3 32nd, so it's nice and skinny. There's your black canvas handle, and that handle, by the way, four and a quarter inches in length. Full four finger grip, the thumb presents right over that hand applied jimping. <clears throat> brand new from the maker we ran this this last week at 165 it didn't sell we knocked her down to 145 this week 120 bucks takes her home 140 if you'd like it with an apostle p edge that is the steel sharp three and three eighths inch utility next up kind of surprised this knife stuck around last week it is a like new in pouch offering from the now extinct Will Moon Knives. Nice pouch. I think this is basically the last knife that Will developed. It is his Banshee. One of many makers to adapt and adopt the Benchmade Axis Lock. He calls it the Moon Spindle Lock. If you'll notice, it is a dual piston coil spring lock mechanism that emulates the axis lock from Benchmade. Maybe better. You can one thumb operate it just like an axis lock. Um, 
Very, very nice mechanism. Very robust. If you didn't see it, that blade is a dark acid stone washed clip point blade. And it is 3 and 5 eighths in length. CPM 20 CV is going to be your blade steel. The handle is ODG 10 with natural canvas micarta inlays. The titanium hardware is anodized bronze. Get the ceramic ball retention on the clip. <clears throat> Lockup is absolutely rock solid. Nice closing detent, much stronger than a Benchmade. Centering's down the middle. Nice thwack. Yeah, pretty nice deal. Nice package. We're going to call this near mint to like new in pouch. Uh, my consigner, Kyle, paid $7.75 brand new from the maker. We ran it last week for $5.25. It did not sell. Dropped it down to $4.95 for Saturday. It's still here. This week, guys, it can be yours for $450. That's $325 less than the original from the maker price. So $450 like it is. $475 with an Apostle P. Edge. That is the Will Moon Custom Banshee. Next up, we have watches. The first one from Ventura Design on Time. Very interesting company. <clears throat> I don't think it's around anymore. But they made watches in Switzerland. And this is the Ventura Design V-Matic Chronograph, which features an in-house automatic chronograph movement by Hannes and Wettstein. And it's kind of a cool piece. Um, let me give it a little wind here. Screw down crown. Because I want you to see the running seconds. So we've got... A titanium case with integral titanium bracelet. Display back for the chronograph movement. 41 millimeters in diameter. 14 thick to house that very complicated chronograph movement. 45 lug to lug. That's to the edges of the case. These first links are going to be kind of rigid though. Uh, it has a very large sizing butterfly clasp. Now my wrist is about seven and an eighth. I think this could fit up to an eight an eight inch wrist. Very wearable, I think. So here's what you got. You have chronoseconds in the center, and let me wind that back up a little bit so we can start those. There she goes. You have a 30 minute chrono timer at the 12 o'clock subdial, 12 hour timer at the 6 o'clock subdial, and then over here at 9 o'clock, you have your running seconds and a 24 hour hand for main time, which I think is kind of interesting. Very cool watch. We'll stop that, snap it back. Now, other than some very light marks on the titanium bracelet, this watch is pretty much like new. I mean, very light. Um, when it was brand new, it sold for $1,995, guys. Swiss chronograph in titanium with sapphire glass. We ran it last week for $850. It didn't sell. We dropped it to $795 on Saturday. Still here. Um, that's a nice pickup, guys, for somebody this week. 750 bucks for the Ventura Design V-Matic Chronograph. Mm -hmm. Next up, another one from Ventura Design. This one is a pretty interesting little watch. You can wind it up so it turns itself on. This is the Ventura Design Spark FX. So it's very much like 
a Seiko Kinetic. It is a quartz movement wound, powered up by a rotor via a capacitor, I believe. Sapphire glass, and right now it's reading zero because I just powered it up. But that would be your hours and minutes. There's a date function in there. You're going to have to read the little instruction booklet to figure out how to run it because I don't know. The size of that case is 33 by 40. So 40 and then 33 diameter without the crown. 11 thick. The lug to lug, and I counted this to here, right? 57, but nicely downturned. Sapphire glass, hardened titanium bracelet. Butterfly clasp, and I believe this is also fully sized. Let's see. Yeah. So again, a lot of room there. There is a spring bar tool in the box with this one. See, it just clicked off a minute. Uh, we'll call this one near mint and box. Now this one, at least on the branding, says this is hardened titanium. And I think the bracelet will bear that out because... There is nary a mark on it. Very nice package. Now, when this was new, it was twelve hundred bucks. Uh, we ran it last week for four fifty. Still here. Dropped it to three ninety five on Saturday. Still here. This week, three fifty guys. Three hundred fifty bucks for the Ventura Design Spark FX Auto Course. Give her a shake. And it comes back on. Okay. All right. That is it for the leftovers. Time to move on to the fresh stuff. <clears throat> All knives from here on in, my friends. First, from Cold Steel, we have the Andrew Demko designed AD10 production version, made in Taiwan. There is the knife. Beautiful. 3D machine crowned sandblasted G10. This is wearing the right hand clip. The lefty clip is in the box. Underneath the G10, you've got aluminum liners. Inside all that comes a blade of S35 VN steel, 3 and 9 16 inches in length, 5 and a quarter handle, triad lock, and very sweet is your action on this one. For a big old knife that flings open with authority. Let's see, does it lock up solid? Of course it does. Centering down the middle. Condition on this one. L nib, like new, in box. Uh, these are getting scarce online, but I did find them in stock at one website for $192. This one can be yours. $155, guys. $155 like it is. $175 if you'd like it with an Apostle P Edge. That's the Cold Steel AD10. Next up, if you like them big, robust, overbuilt, I got your knife. From PMP Knives in a very Medford esque box, we have the Grizzly with the, I think, stainless steel identification card. Made by Max Ace in China, D2 steel blade, titanium handle, weight, heavy, thickness, fat. <laughs> and it, it don't lie, my friends. Here is the Grizzly. That is five and a quarter inches in length. Thick, blue, anodized titanium handle, frame, and clip. Now, this flipper is riding on phosphor bronze, but trust me, the blade's so heavy, it doesn't need bearings. Inertia is all it needs. <laughs> uh, check it out, man. Look at that thing. What is that? 5 16th stock? Something like that. Uh, quarter inch, probably. Bidirectional satin, nice fuller, nicely milled handle, milled clip, steel lock face insert. Lockups rock solid, actions beautiful, centering right down the middle. Uh huh. Let's see. 
I'm calling it like new in the box. I couldn't find a mark on it. Knife Center has these in stock right now for $300. This one can be yours, $225. Probably a limited market knife. It's very heavy. I mean, it's got to be nine ounces probably. Uh, so this one can be yours for $225. 225 and then 250 if you'd like it with an Apostle pH. edge. That's the PMP Grizzly. Next up, from Kaiser Knives. Check that thing out. Well, that pattern on the handle gives it its name. It is the Kaiser Filigree. Standard titanium frame lock knife. I think that spring clip is blue anodized titanium. Now, it should be an ambidextrous clip knife, but the clip would have to be... I don't know if that curved clip goes on both sides. It probably does. I don't, or I, I don't think it's like a cold steel where they need to ship you two clips. I bet it flips over. So apparently no steel insert on this one. Doesn't appear to need one though. I don't get any lock stick. The uh, detent ball looks to be ceramic, if you can look in there. Ball bearing flipper. Blade steel on the filigree is going to be S35VN. Blade length on that slightly recurved harpoon blade is 3 and 9 sixteenths. Handle is 4 and 3 quarters. Pretty cool milled titanium handle with kind of a bronzy anno and then the filigree pattern is then given a nice little satin to reveal it. Pretty cool. Nice, nice knife. <clears throat> Condition on this one is going to be near mint, no box. Okay. And I think I called the centering close on this one. It looks like it might favor the left ever so slightly. So near mint, no box. Um, hard knife to find. I didn't find any. Uh, at retailers and I found one completed listing on eBay at 130 this one can be yours for $99 99 then 124 if you want an Apostle P edge on it that's the Kaiser filigree next up from Kershaw knives loosely designed model by Rick Hinderer this is the cryo 2 Model number 1556TI, even though there doesn't really appear to be any titanium in it. It does sort of look like titanium. You get an HCR 13 MOV blade, 3 and 5 16 inches of blade length, 4 and 3 8 inches of handle. It is a stainless steel frame lock with Kershaw Speed Safe Spring Assist technology. Everything works just fine. Blade centering on this one close we'll call it like new no box like new no box uh, let's see if you want to buy a new one of these at your favorite web retailer it's going to run you 45 bucks at that price you'll probably have to pay a little shipping not on this one though 30 bucks like it is shipped priority mail 50 with an apostle p edge that's the kershaw 1556 ti cryo 2 next up from the Benchmade Knife Company, Oregon City, Oregon, we have the Benchmade 300 Ball Axis Flipper, Coyote Brown G10 with sort of an Anso pattern milled into it, Deep Carry Polished, Ambidextrous Clip, and then you've got an Axis Lock, you have the normal Axis Lock detent, and a flipper on Phosphor Bronze. So it generally takes a little wrist, even though it's got very free action. Okay. <clears throat> you can do it if you get good at it without wrist. One four, 154 CM blade, 3 and 3 16 inches in length, 4 and a quarter handle. Lockup is rock solid. Action is beautiful. Centering is very close to perfect. Condition on this one is going to be like new, no box. It's discontinued, it's out of stock. The last listed price I found for these knives was $153. This one can be yours, $110, guys. $110 bucks like it is. $130 with an Apostle P edge. That's the Benchmade 300 Ball Axis Flipper. 
Next up, from a brand I don't think I've ever reviewed a knife from, because <clears throat> frankly, most of their designs are cartoons. Not this one. From Quartermaster, we have a knife named after my favorite character in my favorite teenage movie of my youth. This is the Quartermaster Spicoli. A robust but still usable titanium frame lock knife. Steel inserted pivot. Look at this, guys. It's just a knife blade. A plain old usable knife blade from Quartermaster. How about that? It doesn't have 14 thumb studs screwed to the spine that make it unusable. It, it's, it's a real knife from Quartermaster. Blade steel, CPM 154. Blade length, three and a quarter. Kind of a black wash finish. The titanium frame is long. Four and 13 sixteenths inches in length. Looks like the clip is reversible. Nice little triangular lanyard hole. Kind of a satiny orange peel kind of thing going on in the clip. Lockup is right in the middle. It's rock solid. Blade centering is perfect. Flipping action is awesome. Yeah. What's not to like? I don't know. It's near mint in box. Out of stock everywhere. When they were in stock, they were $235. This one can be yours. A really nice knife from Quartermaster, 185. 205 with an Apostle P Edge. How about that? Next up, uh oh, we have one of my favorite boxes Spider Co. Oh. This one from Taichung, Taiwan. This is the Spider Co. Smock. The Spider Co. Smock. You guys all know this knife. A darling of the internet social media knife community and why not I love that low profile discreet flipper I can use this one not like a front flipper cool blade super usable kind of a sheep's foot profile you can sneak up into the choil if, if you so desire got the carbon fiber over g10 laminate handle scales the three hole handle pattern the button actuated compression lock ball bearing pivot perfect centering and let's see what else do I know about this the only reason I'm not going to call this like new is that my finger detects a very slight roll at the tip so I'm going to call it near mint in the box perfect action lock up and centering uh, right now I could only find these in stock on one website they're getting scarce. Uh, that was a, and those are 175. This one can be yours. 160 shipped, priority mail. 160, and 180 if you'd like it with an Apostle P Edge. That's the Spider Coast Mock. Next up, man, this is so cool. I've never seen this. You guys probably have. <clears throat> Another one from Spider Co. This one from Golden, Colorado, USA, Earth. Okay, I thought for a minute the box was wrong, but it's not. So check this out, guys. This is a lefty paramilitary two, but it's not. Okay? Here's why. It's wearing custom satin-finished red G10 handle scales, blue anodized titanium hardware, and... A button actuated compression lock so right this would be well here's the smock again which I guess that's left that would be left-handed too uh, if I had another paramilitary too I'd show you but that's a lefty setup but because of the button as modded it's a right-handed knife <clears throat> What do you think of that? Uh -huh. And it, this guy's is so sweet. It is just silky, silky smooth. Lockup is rock solid and is on the bushing, by the way. Properly set up. 
centering's beautiful. The action is awesome. There might be just a couple little corner nicks on that clip. Man, what a cool pack. If I were right-handed, oh, could I probably could I drill some holes? I bet I could. Man, you guys better buy this. <laughs> or I might. See, even with the button lock, you can use that thing left-handed probably easier than a regular compression lock. I love that. That is so cool. Uh, I'm going to call it near mitt as modded. Okay. Very cool. Your price, not much. A buck twenty-five, guys. One twenty-five, like it is. One forty-five with an Apostle P edge, and it is a standard uh, S30V blade. Okay. Cool knife. <clears throat> Next up, speaking of cool knives. We have one from Protec in the new packaging. So cool, the flip top box, the pouch, all the goodies. Inside it comes the Protec Strider SNG Auto model number 2401-B. I believe the B is for blasted, I think. So yeah, you got your standard Strider dimensions, four and five eighths inches a handle three and a half inches of blade 154 cm nice deep blast huh? hard anodized black uh, aluminium handle rock solid lockup perfect centering very pro -y action which is to say awesome okay such a cool knife what a great collaboration uh-huh uh, I'm going to call it near mint in box because there are some little scuffs on the clip you probably can't even see. They're kind of ghost. It's like right there. Is that, okay, I think you can see it. That's it though, guys. Uh, beautiful example. <clears throat> These are out of stock right now. When they were in stock, they were 210 at your favorite web retailer. This one can be yours. Shipped priority mail 185, 185, like it is 205 with an Apostle P edge. That's the Protect Strider SNG Auto 2401 B. Oh, speaking of cool knives, we just got them everywhere. How about this one? How about this? From Hinderer Knives, we have their 2016 limited edition three and a half inch XM18 Skinner with the two tone satin blade. Yes, we do. This is a good looking package. Gray G10. Bright hardware on the show side. Blue titanium accents, the clip and the fill tab. Now, this is a washer knife, okay? Pre try away, but you saw how it flipped. Action nice and free. Centering down the middle. Check out. That S35 blade with the stonewashed flats and the grinder satin. Does that make it a little thinner? It might, which would be a good thing on a hinderer. A stunning example, guys. Condition on this. Near mint in box. I really couldn't find a mark on it. I don't know. It could be like that. And it was a limited edition from 2016. Your price, a lot less than it was new. 345, 345 like it is. 365 with an Apostle P edge. And how's the detent? It's old hinder like. <clears throat> Still plenty good to flip. You have to give it a pretty robust shake to get it to break loose. It's good for this generation of hinder, okay? Next up, from Real Steel, we have a knife named after a prehistoric shark. This is the Real Steel Megalodon. Now, you know, frankly, if I hear the name Megalodon, I'm thinking it's probably going to be something that looks like that, but it's not. It's actually a really svelte, usable, long knife. So it's a titanium frame lock, nice stone wash on, on the tie. Steel inserted, shark tooth lock bar cutout, titanium spring clip, 
ball bearing flipper, M390 blade, satin finished, <clears throat> long, 3 and 15 16 inches, kind of reminds me of a Benchmade 710. The handle 4 and 7 eighths, so very efficient blade to handle ratio. There's your lock engagement, it's rock solid. Blade centering down the middle, flipping action. Well, it's better than that. I was, I was seeing if it had death lock, it doesn't. There you go, Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's see, near mint in box. These are currently out of stock. When they were in stock, they would run you 207 at your favorite web retailer. This one can be yours, 130. 130. Then 155 if you'd like it with an Apostle P Edge. That's the real steel Megalodon. Next up, a funny little obscure knife company. Every time I get one of these, it sells quick. Um, it comes in a little cardboard box. It says Manly on it. Inside the box is the Wasp. Red handle. Sandvik 14C28N steel. It is a fusion knife modern materials in construction and a slip joint there's your red g10 you got a deep carry reversible clip left or right tip up with fill tab sorry about my wacko lights there guys uh -huh. it's a quarter stop knife one two three and four the walk and talk is always a little wonky on these it's not spectacular Centering is beautiful. And let's see, when you get it all opened up, no blade play. So, 3 and 7 eighths handle, 2 and 15 sixteenths blade. Condition is, man, if it ain't like new, it's awful close. We'll call it near mint to like new in box. Good luck finding one. You can just buy this one, though. $45 shipped priority mail, $45. 65 if you like it with an Apostle P Edge. That is the Manly Wasp. Next up, here is a funky little knife from a funky little Chinese company. Two Sun Knives. You know what? If you're going to be a Chinese knife company, be proud of it. Made in Yang, Yangzhang, China. Let's just say it, okay? Good job, guys. All right. So inside the box comes this little gem. The Tucson TS138 TI. This is the all titanium handled D2 bladed version designed by some guy named Wong. I guess the guy from Caddyshack found a new calling after hanging out at the club with Rodney. Yeah. You know, this is just kind of a an exhibition of CNC milling and grinding. I'm not sure how useful the knife is, but it's kind of cool. Two and seven eighths blade, four and an eighth handle, titanium frame lock, steel inserted, ball bearing flipper. There's your lock up. There's your milled clip. Blade centering is down the middle. Flipping action, stunning. Lock up, rock solid, perfect finger choil. Mm-hmm. Two and seven eighths inches of blade, four and an eighth inches of handle. It is near mint to like new in box. Um, I found a similar knife to this on AliExpress. These are very hard to find. That was a carbon fiber M390 version, and it was over 150 bucks. I don't know how much these are if you can find one, but not that much probably. Um, this one can be yours, 75 bucks, like it is, 75. 100 if you'd like it. No, I'm sorry, 95 if you'd like it with an Apostle P Edge. That's the Tucson TS-138 TI. Next up, from Civivi, the budget line of Wee Knives, we have the Charlie 909 DS-2 Brigand, 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 with the black hand-rubbed brass handle and Damascus blade. Hmm. So, this is kind of a neat model. Very, very nice design. Um, so, it's a stainless steel liner lock knife. 
brass scaled, antique finished, and then sort of rubbed to reveal the brass. Got a tip up deep carry pocket clip that is reversible. You have a very dark Damascus blade. Kind of a stylized cleaver design. You've got three and seven sixteenths inches of blade, four and seven sixteenths inches of handle, standard liner lock mechanism, ball bearing flipper pivot, perfect blade centering. A little bit hefty because of the brass, but that's okay. It is like new in the box. Web pricing on these, if you find one at your favorite retailer, is going to be about 78 bucks. Just buy this one instead. Priority mail, shipping included, 60 bucks. 6080 if you like my edge on it. Now make sure you get the right one here, guys, because I have another brigand coming up. This is the C909DS-2. Which brings us to the next one. Another one from Civivi. Another brigand, the C909C. Whoops, sorry for the camera bump. And here's the knife. So this one gives us black G10 over stainless steel. Deep carry clip, it is still reversible same blade, 3 and 7 sixteenths inch cleaver-ish, D2 blade steel, 4 and 7 sixteenths handle, there's your lock up, it's rock solid, your ball bearing flipper action rocks, and your centering be right down the middle, nice and light too, I'm just going to say like 4 on the nose, <clears throat> guessing. It's like new in the box. If you buy a brand new one at your favorite web retailer, it'll run you $59. Or just buy this one. Pretty squared away glove box of the truck knife, I'd say. 40 bucks shipped priority mail. 60 with an Apostle P Edge. That's the Civivi C909C Brigand. Next up, uh, this is a hard knife not to like. You know I don't want to like it, but I kind of do. I'm going to flip my page. Oh. Got to flip it. From Best Tech, and the pouch is inside the box, by the way. We have the BG-19D Ascot. Uh, it's just a really classically designed pocket knife, but man... They call this burl wood. We don't know what kind of burl, but look at the chatoyancy in that stuff, would you? Yeah. Carbon fiber bolsters. Now, it's not technically an inlay. You know, the pieces are finished and then they're screwed on. So the transition is not seamless. That's okay. Get a milled titanium clip with kind of a bronzy anno. The pivot collars are probably aluminum, but very well matched to the clip. Stainless steel liner lock. Blade steel is Sandvik 14C28N. Look at that long, beautiful, gorgeous blade. Three and seven eighths inches long. Four and seven eighths handle. There's your lock engagement. It's rock solid. Centering is down the middle. Flipping action. Stunning. Yep. Cool knife. If you want to buy one of these brand new at your favorite web retailer, it's going to run you about 108 bucks. I believe they are in stock. Or just buy this one. Like new in the box. Shipped. Priority mail. $80. 100 if you'd like it with an Apostle P Edge. That's the Best Tech BG 19D Ascot. Next up, another one from Best Tech. This will come in pouch, no box. I sold one of these a few weeks ago. It's a pretty cool knife. This is the Best Tech Shodan. Shodan. S-H-O-D-A-N. It is a very Chinese looking 
which isn't necessarily bad. Titanium frame lock flipper. Steel insert in your titanium lock face. Nice milling. Nice flipper tab. Super flipping action. Cool blade, S35VN. Three and seven eighths inches long. Kind of doesn't look that big, but it is. Nice in hand, beautiful finger choil. Thumb presents right where it ought to on the jimping. There's your lock engagement. It's rock solid. There's your blade centering. Beautiful. Condition, like new in pouch, no box. I believe you can find these in stock new, whoops, at your favorite web retailer for $230. Or you could just buy this one for $180. 180 like it is, 200 with an Apostle P edge. That is the Best Tech Showdown. Next up, got another little run of Spideys coming your way. First up, it's a Bradley 2 from Taichung, Taiwan. Why they ever discontinued these, I don't know. Beefy stainless steel liner lock. Carbon fiber over G10 laminate scales. A little reveal on the liners for comfort, and it works. The PVD coated Spidey clip. A blade of CPM M4. Hollow ground, nice and thinly, super consistent thickness. There's your lock engagement. It's rock solid. I've never seen a Bradley or a Bradley 2 that wasn't rock solid. Centering very close to down the middle. My favor the lock side ever so slightly. I'm sure you could adjust it. Action super fine. You could probably back that screw off a little bit maybe. Condition on the Bradley 2 is near mint in box. Uh, these have polished edges on the liners and there's just a little Evidence of carry some little hairline scratches in that polished finish. They're discontinued. They're out of stock This one can be yours a super nice example 160 160 like it is 185 with an Apostle P edge. That's the Spyderco Gale Bradley 2 And speaking of discontinued Gale Bradley design Spydercos don't miss this one guys Uh-huh this is the Advocate, and this is a CQI Advocate with the larger bearings, the thick milled uh, or Blanchard ground backing washers, and it is righteous, guys. <clears throat> it is righteous. Orange peel titanium handle. Kind of a polished stonewash clip. It is a steel inserted. Titanium frame lock with the hidden screws. Ball bearing flipper, and guys, the flipping action on this knife is beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. Centering bang on. Condition, again, just like the, uh, the Gale Bradley 2, the only reason I'm not going to call it like new is because there is a little bit of evidence of carry in the polished edges. The bright polished edges of the frame. But man, what one of the nicest operating advocates I've ever had in my hand. They're discontinued. They're out of stock. Your price, 170 170 like it is. 195 with an Apostle P edge. That's a deal. Next up. Another one from Spyderco. This one, though, from Golden, Colorado, USA Earth. I think this is the wrong box because I believe that model number is for a standard military. This is not a standard military. I got some Burple G10, baby. Yes, I do. Burple G10. And Burple G10 probably means, and it does, S110V blade. And I got rock solid lockup. I mean rock solid. And I got a free dropping blade. And I got very nice blade centering. Hard to beat that on a milli, my friends. D10 is right. Uh, a little bit of scuffing on the clip. So we'll call it near mint in box. Okay. Um, let's see. Beautiful mechanics. 
These are currently out of stock, but I don't think they're a Sprint. Uh, when they are available online, they're 224. This one can be yours for 175. 175 like it is. 200 with an Apostle P edge. That's the Spyderco Military Burple S110V. Okay, it happens every week, and it's happening now. <laughs> you guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the same time I used last week. 916. 916. You guys have to buy this knife by 916, or I'm marking it sold. I'm paying my consigner, and I'm keeping it. It's a Spyderco, and it is a what? Delica Flat Ground CF. I have never seen one. Yes, it's a carbon fiber scaled Delica. Mm -hmm. And inside that gorgeous handle resides a blade of HAP40 with the SUS 410 cladding. Uh, lock up is rock solid. Action is pretty good. Centering is down the middle. Condition, like new, in the box. Uh, there is one site that the site I think is called Country Knives and they always manage to have the stuff that's gone and they put it at full retail, um, like not matte pricing. So you can buy this knife brand new at that website for $156 or just buy this one shipped to you, priority mail, $120 all in, $140 with my edge on it. But do it before 916, or I'm keeping it. Next up, from Spyderco, we have a Manix 2, a plain old flat ground S30V Manix 2 with black G10. Here you go. There's your black G10. There's your polished clip. There's your caged ball lock. There is your S30V blade with a shimmery, shimmery, beautiful polished stone wash finish. Uh -huh. Lock up, uh, it's rock solid. Action, free dropping, centering down the middle. Condition on the Mannix. I called it near mint to like new. Uh, it, if there's edge wear, it's very slight. I mean, that could just be how it was ground. It's super slight and it's sticky, sharp. Super example. Matt pricing on this knife, brand new, 126 at your favorite retailer or just buy this one. It's squared away. It's mechanically beautiful. Got a nice factory edge on it. 105. 105 like it is. And if you're really extravagant, you want to splurge, 125, you get an Apostle P edge. That's the Spyderco Manix 2. Next up, <clears throat> uh-oh, oh, it's upside down. From Hinderer Knives, we have it's the, the Hinderer Knife with the coolest name, the XM Slippy Slicer, Stonewashed Blade Coyote G10. So yeah, the little diminutive Hinderer Slip Joint. Uh-huh. And the wrench for the movable thumb disc is in the box, as well as an extra fill tab if you need one. It is a cam action slip joint, but it's kind of a, almost a soft half stop, but it's really a cam tank. Walk and talk, pretty nice. A lot more, a lot more, a lot better than proper, let's say that. Okay, centering right down the middle. Condition on the slippy with the 20 CV blade is like new in the box. You can buy this knife brand new at your favorite web retailer for $275. Or if you'd like to save a little money, still get a like new knife in the box with all the goodies. Two and a quarter. $225 for this one. Shipped. Priority mail. $250 if you'd like it with an Apostle P Edge. That's the Hinderer XM Slippy Slicer. Next up. From Kaiser, hard to read this label, but anyway, what you got is a Blade HQ exclusive KI3499ES Feist. 
pretty cool little feist, I think. Here's another knife. That, if I ever bought Chinese knives, I'd probably own this knife. You've got, I think it's OD canvas micarta handle scales. Milled titanium clip. Front flipper, which I am incapable of using properly. <clears throat> Works fine. S35 VN blade. Sweet little slightly bellied worn cliff. Pencil thin when it's closed. Ball bearing mechanism. Nested locking leaf. Rock solid lockup. Perfect centering, I think. Eh, it might be a little left. Maybe just a little left. Maybe just a little. Mm -hmm. Near mint to like new in box. Uh, these are out of stock. When they were in stock at Blade HQ, they were $129. This one can be yours. $99. And then $119 if you like my edge on it. And if I forgot to mention it, the blade is S35EN. That's the Kaiser. $34.99 ES Feist. Next up, another Kaiser in sort of the less nice box, and the label's kind of falling apart, but it's another pretty cool little fusion knife, fusion knife, slip joint mechanism, modern materials and construction, the zip slip from Kaiser Vanguard. So you got a blasted G10 handle. Deep carry clip that's going to be right hand only. Can you open it with that? Yes, you can. Sort of an interesting shaped opening hole. Blasted blade, two and seven eighths inches in length. Bowler N690 is your blade steel. The handle's four inches long. Fully stainless steel line. Now, this is a half stop knife or a one third stop knife. Nice walking top. No side play. Centering is very close to perfect. Condition is like new in the box. Uh, buy one of these brand new at your favorite website. It's going to run you 69 bucks, probably plus shipping. This one can be yours for 50 five zero, 70 with my edge on it. That is the Kaiser Vanguard Zip Slip. Okay, guys, we got a little run of traditional slip joint pocket knives now. And the first two are from China. This one is a Rough Rider Reserve. Model RRR002. It is the Rough Rider Reserve Kayak. Yep. Three and five eighths inch. Closed length canoe pattern with what appears to be canvas micarta covers. Stainless steel bolsters, but it does have brass liners and appears to have a nickel silver shield. Hmm, they didn't steal from Northwoods or nothing. The blade set, a pair of opposite end, I guess sort of worn cliffs. Match striker nail necks, cut swedges, uh, pull weight, seven, perfect walking talk, blade centering, hard to say, I'm calling it close, okay, pretty doggone nice little knife for what you're going to have to pay. Uh, and this is sort of the prestige line of Rough Rider. Uh, you can buy this knife brand new today at Smoky Mountain Knife Works for 50 bucks, Or just buy this one. Shipped priority mail. 35 35 bucks, 60 for me to sharpen both blades. That's the Rough Rider Reserve Kayak. Okay, this next knife, guys, I gotta say, it makes me sad. It makes me want to cry. <clears throat> it really does. Uh, it comes in this box. <clears throat> That's a sleeve. And then... It says handcrafted Queen City pocket knife. Yeah, that's what it says. This is the model number QC002 Mini Canoe from Queen City, made in 
freaking China. Yeah. Two and eleven sixteenths inches closed length. Abalone covers, and frankly, I got to tell you, the abalone looks pretty nice. Just uh, I don't know. I, I don't think it's LVS abalone, but it's not bad. Um, inside you got a main spear point, full flat ground match, long match striker pull, and then you got a little pen blade. Also with a long match striker pull. Uh, pull weight is about a six. Nice walk and talk, and frankly, um, you can't really buy an American made queen that is centered up like this <laughs> uh, and has this get a walk and talk. I don't see any evidence of rubbing between the blades. It's pretty nice. Uh, they're 25 bucks at Smokey. This one can be yours shipped priority mail, $18.43 if I sharpen both blades. That's the Queen City China QC002 Mini Canoe. Next up. <clears throat> this can't be the original box. We have a genuine... Titusville, PA produced Shat and Morgan Cigar Muskrat, number 331, pattern number 331. So it's a 4 and 1 16th inch closed length cigar handled muskrat blade set, 1095 blade steel, jigged bone, keystone shield. Pole weight is about an 8, and these dual muskrat clips are on cam tangs. Nice walk and talk. Let's see. A little side play when it's open. Uh, there is some evidence of the blades rubbing. The, the dual muskrat clips do nest congress together in the blade well with no center liners. Uh, so condition is going to be near mint, in, near mint in wrong box. Uh, your price on this one, and you'll never see this one made again where it was made, 85 bucks. 85 like it is, 115 for me to sharpen both blades. That's the Shatton Morgan Muskrat Cigar, number 331. Next up, we have another Shatton Morgan, and this one is in the correct box. <clears throat> it is the model 06 Teardrop Jack in Blue Bone. This, guys, is a stunner. Dark indigo blue jig bone covers, keystone shield, nickel silver bolsters, and end caps. Uh, closed length is 3 and 13 sixteenths. Half stops, long pulls, cut swedges, 1095 blades. Beautiful walk and talk. Pull weight's a seven. Side play is very minuscule. You have to really muscle it to get it to have any. Look at that. Inventory cleanup. You didn't see that stamp except one time. Yep. This is <laughs> selling everything during the bankruptcy time. Piece of history right there. And a very, very nice example. Near mint in the box, 110, 110 like it is, 135 if you'd like it with an Apostle P. Edge. That's the Shatton Morgan number 06 teardrop. Next up, from WR Case and Sons, we have a 62131 CV Tenu. With the, what do they call that? Whoa. Amber bone peach seed. <laughs> Get a, I mean, pick one, guys. Amber bone peach seed stag. 
jig no pc jig pretty good looking torched jig bone there uh -huh. standard classic canoe from case beautiful cam tang action about a six and a half pull nice walk and talk some rub as you're going to get on most of your canoes out here by the tip We'll call it near mint in box. Uh, these are widely available online for about 60 bucks at your favorite web retailer or just buy this one. 45 bucks like it is. 70 I sharpen both blades. That's the case 62131 CV canoe. Next up, the last knife in tonight's sale. Another fusion knife. Modern materials, classic design, slip joint from Lion Steel. We have the CK0115NC. That makes it a Dom. The Fusion Barlow, the brainchild of Mac Latham. Collector Knife. Natural Canvas Micarta covers, titanium bolsters. Sheep's Foot Blade, Long Pull Cut Swedge, Long Pull on both sides, M390 Blade Steel. Seven Pull. Perfect walk and talk. Uh, perfect centering. We'll call it near mint to like new in box. Your price, 125. 125 like it is, 145 with an Apostle P edge. That's the Lion Steel Dom. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of another weekly knife sale on the Apostle P channel. Thanks for hanging out with me, keeping me company while I'm away from home. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, the word is sharp. Now commence to clicking.